In this video, I'll show you how we can use this slider component in Metroid by React. So to use this component, the first thing we need to import slider. So it is imported from Metroid by code. And we can give one value for this slider. So suppose the value is value. Let me create one variable here. Value set value so i'm gonna use this use state hook and here i'm gonna give it as value of 20. then i'll also create one more function suppose its name is change value and this function will be called once we will slide this slider so here i'm gonna set the value of using of this value i'm gonna set it here so the, for the slider the value is the value current value so i'm gonna give the it in all sense here it is sense value so, then, so here you can see that this is the slider we can also give one style property here so let me give one weight suppose it is 300 and margin top it is 200 let's say let me give one margin left 300 now you can see that this is the slider so it uh, it takes the value and once we're sliding it is sending the value to create one discrete slider so let me move all this to here okay so we can give the minimum value and the maximum value suppose the minimum value is 10 and maximum value is 100 and it should be one step here step is 10 then so if i now refresh it then you can see that it's moving at an interval of 10 it's not moving continuously it's moving at an interval of 10. we can also show these marks or these uh, intervals so you can see that some marks are added once i did this mark forward then it is moving at this 10 interval okay, so one tool tip for that we need to use this get area value text area value text equal to get text let me create one get text function and here i am gonna pass the same value we have not so if i refresh it okay also we need one more thing it's called value level display so here i'm gonna set it as auto so let me refresh it then you can see that it is showing one tool tip here we can also mark one slider as disabled so for that we need to add this disabled property so it is disabled we can slide it it will uh, pick the default value and it will show the default value always we can also use some custom marks so let me comment it out so let me some create some marks custom marks so here we need uh, this is an array there's an array so it says like for which value what we want to show so suppose for we have this from starting from 10 10 to 100 so for value 10 suppose i want to say level as suppose it is 10 dollar similarly i can copy this object so for 20 let's say it is 20 dollar for 30 similarly it's 30 dollar i can pass these custom marks in this marks property 
so if i send it here then you can see that it is showing these dollars so let me change the width of this slider a little bit more suppose it is 900 then you can see that it is showing these marks on its step so here you can see that we have provided up from 10 to 50 but we can also go to the 60 70 80 90 100 but here if i send the step as null then we can't go here we can go only for this virus that we are providing here so let me add one more 400 now i can go directly to 100 i can move to the 60 70 all this this auto but if i set it as on then you can see that these two tips are showing always also what is track for that we need to use this track inverted now this is inverted it is sliding from right to left also remove the tracks for that we need to remove this step equal to null and then we need to use this track equal to false so now you can see that it is sliding for through all the tracks it's not taking this uh, tracks or these marks this is a horizontal slider we can also change it to vertical for this simple so we just need to orient the cell it's vertical so let me change the width to height and if i save it then you can see that it's a vertical slider i can also create one rain slider so let me move it to horizontal range slider means that we have like two tooltips and we can select a uh, specific range so for that let me remove these custom marks and this value previously we give for only one value but for range slider we need to give two values suppose we want to show the range 20 to 30 in the beginning and we don't need this we can also add these uh, properties but for simplicity i am just removing them so i'm giving this min max and this value equal to this value and on sense so i'm gonna call this sense value so it's same as like the previous one but it will show me one range so we can select from any range so if i give one more value here then you can see that there are added like three tooltips that's the basics of sliders so if you like this video please like it and please subscribe to my channel and also please drop one comment if you have any queries thanks bye